Hey guys, happy go lucky here, back for another maths question of the day. Today we've got a non-calculator question, so you're going to have to do all the work yourself with your brain. It's from IGCSE 2020 specimen paper, and the question goes as follows. Without using your calculator, work out 1 and 7 twelfths plus 13 twentieths. You must show all your work in and give your answer as a mixed number in its simplest form. Three mark question, press pause, have a go at it. Now we're back with the work solutions in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay guys, back with the work solutions. And the first thing, obviously, you need to make a note of is you can't be using your calculator. So we're looking at 1 and 7 twelfths plus 13 twentieths. We've got to show all the work in, and the answer has to be a mixed number, not an improper fraction, and it has to be simplified. That'll probably get the final mark there. So the first thing is, we're going to have 1 anyway, and then focus on the fraction part of it. So 7 twelfths plus 13 twentieths. So many people make mistakes on adding fractions just by adding the top and adding the bottom to get 20 over 32. That's obviously not the case. We can't add twelfths and twentieths because they're two different sizes. So we need to get a common denominator. In other words, the bottom part of the fraction needs to be the same. The best way to work out a common denominator is to find a number that 12 and 20 both go into. If it doesn't immediately spring to mind, you can just list the multiples somewhere else on the page. 12, 24, 36, and so on and then you can do the same with 20s 20, 40, 60 and bingo we've got a match so they both go into 60 next stage then we're going to rewrite 7 twelfths as something over 60 so we need to ask how many twelves do we need to make 60 and 12 times 5 is 60 so whatever you do to the bottom you have to do to the top 7 times 5 is 35 and then we have to turn 13 twentieths into 60ths as well and how many twenties do you need to make 60? 3 so we need 3 of the top the numerator that's 39 at 60ths so actually what we've got then is we've got 35 at 60ths plus 39 at 60ths and now that we're always talking about 60 ifs, it stays there. We just need to do 35 plus 39, which is 74 60 ifs. Now don't forget, we've still got this 1 from the question earlier on, which is obviously 60 60 ifs to make a whole. So we've got 1 and 74 60 ifs. Now that's not simplified. So if 60 60 ifs makes a whole, then we can actually move that 1 to 2. And we've got 14 60 ifs left over. 1 and 74 60 ifs is the same as saying 1 and 60 60 ifs and 14 more 60 ifs. So we get 2 and 14 60 ifs. <laughs> Nearly there. The last thing we need to do is any simplifying. So looking at 14 and 60, they have a common factor, a number that goes into both of them, of 2. So we just need to divide that by 2. And 14 60 ifs, when you divide by 2, is 7 30 ifs. And that's as far as we can go. So let's put it all together. Don't forget your whole number as well. We have 2 and 7 30 ifs as your final answer. OK, so that question was worth three marks. You would have got one mark just for finding that common denominator of 60. You would have got the second mark for getting to this point, showing that both numbers over 60 and how to add them together. And the third and final mark would have come from getting the answer, 2 and 7 30ths. Simplify it. OK, hope you enjoyed that one. I've been Happy Go Lucky, and you've been doing some adding fractions maps. Good for you. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.